I'm going to be making a web crawler using Python. First, we need to import some modules. I have an example file over here where I have already made the web crawler. So we are going to use URL lib for getting the data off of the web page and for parsing the URLs. We will be using beautiful seek for getting the links off the page and more and other data off the page too. We will be getting the title, the favicon, the text, and the links off the page and writing them to this file, links.txt. So first we are going to from URL dot request import request and URL and URL open. Request makes the request and URL open sends the request and gives us the response. From URL lib.parse, we are going to import URL parse and URL join. URL join will join two links together to form a complete link. URL parse will parse the link for us. Next, from, from BS4, we are going to import beautiful soup. I imported it as BS to make it easier to type. Next, from BS4.element, we are going to import comments to make sure we are not receiving the comments from the page. Now, first of all, we are going to need to make a function to get the text off the page so that we do not only so that we do not only get the raw HTML. I've created this function for it, and what this function does is it is it filters out anything that is in a style script, head, meta, or just in the normal document, or if it is a comment. That is why we imported comment. And then we will join it and we'll have all the visible text. Okay, so this right here will check whether the element is either a style, a script, a head, a meta, or in the document. Element.parent.name. Or if it or element is the same instance of common. Or if element is an instance of common, I mean. Then we will be we will also need a function to get the, to get the raw HTML off the page. This will try 10 times. If it does not work after 10 times, it will give us an error. I added this identity header to make sure anyone who sees that we crawled their page sees that we made this epic web crawler. Let me copy this get text over. And now in get data, we are going to try to create the request using URL lib dot request dot request. And we will give it the argument of URL and then the headers we want to give it. Now you can give it more headers like user agent and other things, but I decided to only give it identity just to make it look cool.
So we set tries to zero. Then while the tries are less than 10, we will try to we will try to open the URL and then we will break the loop if it works. If it does not work, we add one to the number of tries. If tries is more than 10, then we return false. Wait, I should put this print statement before the return false, else it won't get executed. There we go. It will print the web page won't work and return false. Next, we will try to read the web page. If it does not work, we return false. Now here, we are going to make sure that it is, that it is an HTML page instead because we do not want to just get images and stuff like that. So if HTML not in content type, then we print URL is not an HTML page and return false. Next, we need to get the title. This is the simplest one. All we need to do to get the title is to use soup.title.string. I will tell you what soup is later. Soup is from BS4 and it helps us to parse the HTML. Otherwise, the title is none and we return the title. Now we will get the favicon. You don't have to get the title favicon in text, but I do it for good measure. To get the favicon, we look for the icon link by using soup.find link. We are looking for a rel e equaling shortcut icon. If we cannot find it, then we try to find one with just icon. Some pages use icon as a shortcut icon. If the icon link is still none, then we just return the site slash favicon.ico, which is the default. The favicon is equal to URL join site and icon link. Then we return the favicon. Now next is where we're actually going to crawl the web page and get the links off of it. Now here, our content is equal to get data. That's up here with the start URL right there. And then title is equal to get title soup. We create soup right here. Text is equal to get text soup as an argument. Favicon is get favicon soup and URL as arguments. Now to get the links off the page, first we are going to loop through soup.findall a. A tags are the links. Then we get the atra attributes. The href attribute is the actual link itself. If you do not know what this is in Python, it is a shorthand way of, app of appending each one to the list. It's also faster. Links text is equal to newline.join links. This is to help us see the links better. Now we are going to print the URL, the title, the favicon, and the links. We are not going to print the text because some pages have super long text, but you can if you want to. Then we will open our links.txt in append mode and write links text to it. Now, if we want to, we can try to, once this is done, we crawl the next site. So we could, if we wanted to, do crawl links 
zero, which would crawl the first link it finds on the website. If you did this enough, it would cause the Python error for going through so many. Now, let's start with the URL of python.org. And we can crawl the URL. Let's run this and see what happens. I'm using refl.it, by the way. Okay. So we got a few errors, but it seems like it worked overall. The URL is python.org. Got a title of welcome to python.org. We got favicon of this. This does not seem to be what we were looking for, but we can fix this later. Now we have a ton of links. Hashtag content. Not all of these are actual links. So we are going to need to use that URL join again. We are going to join our start URL with the href attribute. Next, we will fix our errors. Now, something went wrong with that first one because, of course, the link didn't work right. But up here, no parser was specified. We can fix this. Let's do features equals HTMI, HTML5 lib. <laughs> okay. So that was one problem. Oh. Our other problem was our URLs weren't complete. We can use URL join to fix that. We join start URL and the href. Now up here at the top, we need to make sure we have URL join imported. Don't need URL parse. Okay, so now we can run this and see what happens. We got all of our good URLs. Wait, let's empty this out and rerun. Fix our first few errors. May have generated some bad links. Okay, here we go. We've got some good links that probably all work. no half links in here. Now if we set it like this, it'll continue to crawl, adding more and more and more and more. Next, we may want to add a feature to check if we've already done some of the links. Let's stop this. This doesn't look like a good link. You may get a few bad links in here, but for the most part, you should get good links. Let's delete all that. And let's put it like this, already found is equal to open links.txt dot read dot split at every new line and then Let's add this so that we will only add the links if it is not, if that not in all ready found. Now 
if you can find a shorter, better way to do this, I'd love to hear it. And now we can also do this already found plus equal links. By the way, if you didn't know, you can add two lists together. Oh, we need to make it global. Globe. I have no idea why Python has this weird global thing that you have to do sometimes, but not all the time. Mm -hmm. List ran out of our list ended, and so it got an error because it couldn't find any links on the page. Okay. So, that is how you make a web crawler. If you want to, you can fix this error down here, or you could even send this to a database or create a, or create a database right here. You could make a search engine with this. There's a lot of things you could make with this. You could put a try and accept here so that it would... Here, let me try something real quick. For link and links, we are going to crawl link. Let's do put a try and accept around it. And then we Hint that, and now it'll go through all the links. If one link has a problem, it'll, it'll just go to the next. Okay. For some reason, it didn't return our links, but now we know how to. Oh, it didn't return the links because it's in already found. Well, now you know how to make a web crawler. And we delete all this. Sometimes Rebelbot it has problems. It should work. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you would like to see more videos like this. And let's see if this will work. Okay, it's working. It's going on forever until it runs out of links. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.